Hi, welcome to Fun Life channel. Don't forget to make your life be fun. Today we're gonna tell you a wise story of the humble man named Lakman. Many years ago there lived a scholar called Lakman. But he was a very wise. He was an African who was caught as a, a slave and sold in another country. Lakman was so wise and respected that the surah in the Quran also is called by his name Surah Lakman, chapter 31. He gave good advice to his children. His advice is equally good for all the children of the world, even today. Once Lukman said to his son, O oh son, do not tie your heart in seeking the pleasure of people. You are not likely to succeed. Do not pay attention to what people say. Instead, tell yourself always to seek the pleasure of God. Lukman wants this lesson to be always remembered, never to be forgotten. He thought it of the way. He then told his son to ride a donkey. The father followed behind on foot. They traveled in this way for some distance. After some distance, they came across a group of people. Seeing the son on the donkey, one of them said, What an implied and bad boy. The older father is walking on foot. The young son is comfortably riding on the donkey. This is no manner to show respect to one's father. Father and son heard this. The son came down from the donkey. Lakman rode on the animal. After some time, they came across another group of people. On seeing the father riding the donkey, the elder of the group said, Oh, you old man, this is not the way to bring up a son. You make him walk in the hot sun while you sit comfortably on the donkey. Lakman paid attention to what the people say. He came down from the donkey. Both father and son walked on foot. The donkey walked in the front. They went a little further. People seeing them said, How foolish you are! You walk behind the donkey. Why don't you ride it? Lakman and his son once again accepted what the people said. They both rode the donkey and went further. They came across a river. There was a bridge to be crossed. Some people were sitting there. They saw Lukman and his son riding the donkey. One of them said, It is very unkind and cruel of you too to ride on the poor donkey. The little animal can hardly take all your burden. So, taking this advice, Lukman and his son dismounted from the donkey. They traveled a little distance further. And looking very lovingly, Lukman said to his son, You have heard and seen what the people said. It must have asserted you by now that whatever you do or whichever way you move, one is not able to please the people of the world. He pointed at a flowing river and added, A person can build a wall across the river. It will stop the flow of the wall. But it is not possible to shut the mouth of the people from criticism. Similar is the case in our world today. The tongue has no bone. 
it can speak even without thought. There are as many opinions as there are people in the world. It is very bad to find fault with the other person, especially when he is doing something good. A person can feel very hurt when he listens to all the tongues that talk loose. To avoid getting hurt by loose talk, a person can train himself. He can discipline himself to think. By thinking, he can know what is wrong and avoid. When a person is sure, when a person is sure that what he is doing will please his master, the Almighty Allah. Then he must never worry what others speak. Fun Life Channel. Don't forget to make your life be fun. Thanks for watching.